Oh my goodness. Which one's Casey? Can anybody tell? Hey, good morning. We are here for KRA5 at Newcastle Motorsports Park. You can hear the roar of the engines in the background. We got Casey doing work on tires. Ben's inside. Rain tires. We think we got rain coming. Ben's inside playing video games. It's business as usual for stall racing. One of the things about the vlog, uh, given some of the delays with editing and stuff, we don't always get to get some messages out there as quickly as we'd like to. And we wanted to pass on our condolences to Karen Meinhart for the loss of her husband, Rick. Rick and Karen were some of the first people we met when we came out to the track and smiling faces. And I'll never forget, you know, Rick, <laughs> Rick didn't weigh enough to withstand a gentle breeze. And he and Karen would lift the heaviest cart out here by themselves and never, never say a word, never ask for help. Uh, Rick was a, a tough racer on the track and a, a better man off of it. And Karen was always there and uh, haven't seen him here in the last couple years and missed him. And, uh, hated to hear about Rick's passing. So Karen all our best and uh, Racing lost a, a good one there and uh, Hate to hear it Gonna take you on a lap around this week's layout. So that's turn one a fast 90 degree corner The first three corners are all fast 90 degrees. They're all flat out So right now we're on the old track now we transition onto the new portion of the track. That's a fun little corner, too very close to flat out but not quite so a little break and then up the world famous ski jump a little break down there to set up for this left hander because that left hander is key it's easy to get bound up if you don't get it right then this left hander is flat out another right hander that's flat coming up into the what used to be the scoreboard hairpin you have a break i actually don't know what they call it now the scoreboard's gone but i still call it scoreboard right hander into the Monza very cool little tricky section left that one is banked so if you if you don't hit it right you pay and then the cut through there and then that takes you onto the straightaway and that is a lap around Newcastle we are here on a beautiful morning though it appears weather could be moving in for day two of a double header where day one went pretty well for stall racing and we are here at the Clint Eastwood of Go-Kart Tracks, Newcastle Motor Sports Park. The Morning Walk with Dad. In our journey on the morning walk, in search of those elusive tents, of course it's important to get on the track, but over the past few weeks we've studied philosophy and psychology and today we turn to physics and the the theory in physics which i decided to bring up today is called the grand unified theory and the grand unified theory is a model practice of particle physics where theoretically the three forces of the standard model are merged into one being the electromagnetic weak and strong the thing is it's never been witnessed and I brought this up today because just maybe if we watch the 34 red Burrell ghost-powered cart 
we might see this grand unified theory put into place. But in truth, all I can remember about the grand unified theory is what I just spoke. And I turns to something I know much better, and that's Clint Eastwood. And in the Dirty Harry movie, Magnum Force, Clint says, a man's got to know his limitations. I can talk about limitations. And one of those limitations is I know nothing about physics, so we're not gonna keep up the charade. But I do know we're having a lot of fun out here, ready for KRA-5. Interesting track today, weather could be a problem. We'll see how it goes. Just completed the morning walk and uh, on my way back and disaster averted. That could have been a problem. We clap for them when they come by? Okay. All right. Woohoo! Go, King! Let's go! Woo! Who's gonna win? Oh, they crashed! Oh, oh no! And Lightning somehow. How's Dada gonna do? He's going to do good. He's gonna be fast? Yeah! Yeah! Oh my goodness. Which one's Casey? Can anybody tell? Yeah, that's... Oh, and there's the fourth one. Casey qualifying currently after the second lap on the pole. So let's see if he can hold it, friends. Come on, I've broken the, the streak on qualifying, and I can't explain it. I am still qualifying well. Today, qualified on pole, right? I think there's only been like one or two other times I could say that. So, qualified on pole, and let me tell you, this cart, oh my gosh, it's good. God, it's good. And my boys at Ghost Racing, oh man, everything is just perfect. Um, I just gotta, I gotta execute and hopefully do a repeat of, of yesterday with a win. That guy right there, Ryan, starting third behind me, he's gonna give me a hard time and a number of other guys too. Um, we're keeping an eye on the skies though. That's gonna be the big, the big variable here because it's pop-up storms. And so it's not like you just, you know it's gonna be rain. There might be rain. And it might be dry. It's in that weird limbo area. So kind of annoying when that happens, but um, you know, it is what it is. Quick qualifying recap after a 13th place finish yesterday, I went in with all kinds of excitement, eagerness, and came back 20th out of 26. Just didn't, didn't drive well. Cart was great. And you know, same Burrell cart, same ghost engine yesterday that gave me all the power and handling that I needed. I uh, did the same thing today. I just missed in two different areas uh, some turns. Got the back end sideways and and it cost me a few tenths and really the difference was probably 20th to 16th was probably the best I could have done but had I been able to get into that 16th range I'd have, I'd have been in a bigger group. So we'll see. I'm hoping with maybe some better driving that I can do that. It's a short track, hard to pass on. So uh we'll see how that goes plus we're dealing with some weather so uh, we may see the 34 with rain tires on it we'll see so i had something cool happen this week um ben got a social media re request uh for burrell setup assistance from a gentleman from texas named brock edwards and got back to him and brock asked if uh i would be interested in doing an episode on his podcast midlife mastery so I agreed and what's interesting about it is Brock does a great job on this uh, podcast it's aimed at people and mastering midlife and uh, um, went through the roster and looked at his guests and there's a lot of people that uh, are far more uh, 
astute and acclaimed than I am, but uh, they can uh, offer insights and helpfulness. But as I said earlier, a man's got to know his limitations. So I just talked about what we do at the go-kart track and some family things. So if you have a chance, uh, not just my podcast, but take a listen to Brock and Midlife Mastery. It's a really good really good podcast all right it has become considerably more overcast a little more windy but still a little iffy if the rain's actually going to hit us um so what we're going to be doing on ben's cart is that is one of our rain motors and by rain motor really it's one that has an older short block so some water in it it won't do as much uh to you know wear it down as a new short block um, and so we'll have that one on standby. We've got a different clutch with a 20 tooth driver versus a 21 tooth driver that we normally run and that'll get our ratio up. Ben, can you that volume down? Um, that'll get our gear ratio up where we want it for rain. And so uh, he'll take his tires off. We'll have the engine on and ready to make a decision on the clutch. He's going to run that rain engine regardless. And then um, we'll have everything basically ready to go to make a decision whenever race time comes. Ben's still probably about an hour-ish out. Uh, but the, the one thing I'm pretty excited to try out is this. So for Christmas, I got a 3D printer and uh, designed this little dude. And so you can see it's got some little fins down there. Uh, maybe you can't see. It's got some fins down here so the air filter sits in nice. And, um, I'll show you. Goes in over like this. And then it's got a couple holes. Somewhere. Oh, one hole in this one. And so that we'll run a zip tie around here, around the carb, just to make sure it stays on. And uh, our, our boys at Ghost uh, put this on the dyno for me and it did not restrict airflow. Um, so I'm actually pretty amazed because I mean I was just kind of taking a shot at designing it so seems to uh, seems to do the trick on paper we're gonna give it some real-world testing maybe today so what kind of dinosaur is this one I show mama. Yeah, you found triceratops what's the other one what's the green one a Tyrannosaurus Rex yeah. That's a good impression of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, but good dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Casey here before Ben gets to his spiel about the race. You're going to see the footage is really wobbly. Really sorry about that. I'm assuming there was some junk on the lens that threw off the camera. On to Ben. All right, so I started in 11th. Uh, it was a pretty poor qualifying effort for a lot of us. Eli's right in front of me. He's one of the top guys. Kyle to my right, solid. Keegan um, Clark is, I think, behind me to the right, and then Logan Adams is directly behind me. Like those, all five of us are normally top, you know, um, five ten. That you know that that top group, anyone any one of them can go on to, to win a uh, pole and win the race. And we were all back there, so um, some early aggression trying to make up spots. And you can see Logan gets intentionally through the grass there to try to cut some time off and get around some people, and it works really well for him. Um, and then coming on the ski jump, there is issues. And Logan, because he goes inside there, is able to avoid them. I'm not sure what happened. I think somebody spun in front of Eli, maybe. Um, and then there's Keegan, who gets into me from behind just because he had nowhere to go, as Kyle and myself did. So um, Keegan gets out in front. Uh, I get out second, and Kyle, I think, is shortly behind me. Shortly behind me, yeah, he's right there. Um, unlucky <laughs> situation. We just kind of all had a bad qualifying effort and paid for it dearly in the race but um, it was still an enjoyable ride here just kind of getting through some of the traffic um, and then the, the moisture on the track made it a bit fun too you can see the the camera um, it was a little shaky this uh, I don't know if we were, had it set up weird or what but the camera is a little shaky on this but you can see all the uh, the moisture from the, the track it I think accumulated as the race went on too the track was getting a bit more slick you can see the the burrell in front of me getting a little loose there on exit um, and that was a common theme as the race went on just more accumulation on top of a, a track that was already wet from earlier in the day I think the night before it rained as well so 
Um, but I'm behind a, a Burrell here, just kind of following him. I think this is one of the newer guys, but, uh, you know, work together as best we can. Um, and just like I said, you know, just kind of fight through traffic. The rest of this one, I think Kyle is coming up behind me as well. So um, I had a, a buddy to push me, and we were just kind of trying to make our way up through traffic. Uh, I get him here coming down. Um, carries a, a, a little bit too much speed into that, opens the door for me um, on the inside, and I go ahead and take it. Uh, and then coming up here on the 20, uh, I would say probably one of the, the sketchier guys historically to follow, I feel like. There's a, a bit of caution as I uh, come up on, on the bumper um, on the bumper of him here, but um, same sort of thing. Get him. There's a left-hander here uh, to kind of lead us into the ski jump. He overcooks it um, and then lets me go by on the inside here. I think Kyle gets by him. Yep, and there. there. So Kyle and I are now bumper to bumper kind of pushing the rest of the way, um, and then he gets by me here. He had a great run coming out, and so He'll take the lead from me, and then I'll uh, just tuck in behind and start pushing him. And so we basically just pushed the rest of the race. I, I couldn't tell you how many laps that was, but it was a fair amount where we were just pushing, trying to catch guys in front of us. I think Keegan was the next guy in front of us, and uh, it felt like we were blunting him, but I don't know. Keegan's very stout. But anyway, here on the last lap, I get the inside here, um, which leads me on the outside going through the Monza, um, and I'm just not able to complete the, the pass here going through the, the cut through. I just didn't have it. It wasn't a, a great cut through there for me. Um, and then wound up, you know, finishing, I think, 15th. So not a great race, but ultimately had some fun. Uh, just unlucky that we all started back there and ultimately finished back there, too. So. Nice Thanks, buddy. We made the best of a bad situation. Yeah, you did. Thanks, son. You were so fast. Uh, just, was yes, he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Keegan, you might have insight what happened up there. You were in front of... And then all of us, yeah, because like Eli and somebody else, then got sideways, or some, maybe not Eli. I don't know. Somebody got sideways, and we had nowhere to go. Okay, it's like halfway-ish sprinkling rain. We'll see. I think Dad has all dry set up. Getting some real-world testing here. What is it? Oh, is that your thing that you made? Getting ready here for the Masters Final here at the KRA. Uh, had a fun little track uh, using the cut through. Um, took just a little over a minute to complete a lap. Uh, I was a little leery because starts had been a problem, but we get through turn one pretty good here and into turn two. Now you'll see after we go through turn three, or um, I was lifting and I had a chance to move to the right and maybe try and pick up some positions and uh, you can actually see a couple people try and I thought right here we were in for a big mess. It gets pretty narrow um, and I was in for a mess. I just was a couple of turns too early because I'm following John in here and he just spins and his uh, left front met with my right front and you can see uh, coming out of the corner here that my uh, Steering column is bent. My wheels stuck at uh, about 10 o'clock instead of noon, and there really wasn't anything I could do the rest of the race. It, it didn't drive completely bad, able to pick up a spot here on Travis. I think he was having a bit of an issue as well. And uh, but you can see the carts pulling away there, and and I just had nothing for anybody in front of me. Um, picked up a, a, a past a. A person who had been caught in a melee and, and they were down a lap was able to make a move here going uh, down into the Monza but a really uneventful race on uh, on a good weekend all in all and uh, a fun little track and uh, just wish wish that hadn't happened we might have been able to do something but um, we will never know but we're, we'll be ready to go get them next KRA <laughs> Mama's got dead I don't know if the wheel just turned. No. <laughs> Is that you, Mama? <laughs> Uncle Ben? <laughs> That's the one thing. How'd you feel out there, Dad? Well, 
So it's a little cramped here in this new stall canopy as we try and dodge raindrops here, but I just got done with my race and got into an incident in the turn one. If you can notice the wheels are straight, but the steering wheel's not. And you can see, I don't know if the angle will show it, but uh, been steering calm on lap one. <clears throat> Good news is turning left was never easier. Uh, right was a little bit of a bear, but it, it rolled straight. So uh, I feel lucky uh, that I came out of it with just maybe a bent steering call. I'm not sure I'm looking at over here. May have some other issues too. <laughs> Gosh, we can't go anywhere without the paparazzi these days. <laughs> On pole. Not very often I can say that. So I'm starting next to Brian. And I feel like a broken record. But the cart was just incredible. I had never had that much confidence as I did going into this race. Got a good start here. I'm pretty sure Ryan, who was behind me, gave me, gave me a nice bump. Took the lead. And spoiler alert, that's really all you're going to see. I mean, I stayed in the lead there. This is like lap four-ish, and it was like the last time I looked back there, and I got a bump. And then I didn't look back after that anymore. I just decided I'm not going to look back, um, which I try not to do anyways. But being in the lead, it's kind of nice to know what's going on and who's around you. So going into this section, I felt like it was my strongest and it, if you can see behind, I build some separation in this lap. And then this is the following lap. And I had built a pretty decent gap at that point. And then right here, they started making moves on each other and started fighting. And that sealed the deal. Like that gave me the space I needed. And I just pulled away. And I ended up here on this. This is like the second to last lap. I looked back. Wait a minute. Did I see that? I looked back again. Yes, it was like a five second gap back to the, the rest of the pack. It was, I, I had no idea. I honestly assumed they were right there on my bumper. So coming here into the, onto the finish line and man, felt so good looking for the family here over in the corner and a little celebratory fist bump and just a great race. Never happened to me again, I'm sure. That was pretty unreal, but I'll take it. Ross, we are just enjoying Casey's race, and then... I mean, most people choose to do this in the comfort of their own home, but it's like a monkey. <laughs> Monkeys don't care where they pick at their significant others, yeah. So we're all here watching Casey's sportsman race. Uh, he started in first on the pole and he came out from the start in first and he's been there ever since. He is right here and we're waiting and we're waiting and there's the rest of them. This is the last lap. He's coming for the checker. Right so, yeah. We'll see if he gets first. Yeah, we'll see if he can hold on to this one. It's not quite as intense as yesterday, but man, a full sweep of the weekend. Could he do it? Ready, Munchkin? Man, what a race. Man, I don't, I've never had one like that. That was just insane. Hang on, Bubba. Sorry. Finley's, Finley's eager. Um, I was just, I was just. Not product placement here. I was just here. fixing uh, No, just incredible. I mean, I've been raving about this cart all weekend. Everything was just on point. And it was, I've told people, it was almost like it was on autopilot. Like, 
yeah. just phenomenal. Ready, put this on. And uh, are you big ready thank you put again this on? to all these folks here, all the family. Now, are you ready to put this one on? Couldn't do it without them. Um, so, sorry, family. You've been very patient. We're going to go ahead and do the sticker ceremony. What you got? I got a grastronaut. <gasps> a grastronaut? Yeah. Okay, where are you going to put them? I'll put it up here. Perfect. Next right next to the rocket. The rocket. Oh yeah, that's wow. perfect. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Me. I picked a pig because pigs are my favorite animal. They are number one in my heart, and you were number one all day today. So I like nice that. little. I like pig. you. Why? I picked the pig as well. It's not my favorite animal, but you hogged the weekend. Hey. I like you. Thank you, guys. Next. I picked Step a cow because <laughs> you <laughs> earned a steak. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Steak dinner. I and milk. I want some play, Mama. And milk. Winners drink milk. All right, I picked the uh, alien because uh, Mom, there was so much that. space. I got to play. Uh, <laughs> you in a second and you were out of this I world. I want to play. <laughs> Thank I you. I got my plane. <laughs> well, why don't you, why you, why you put that one on you, Bubba? You're so fast. Like so bad. Then, Danish, we got rain coming okay. in. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going with what I perceive to be the dodo bird. Yeah, because they're a very solitary animal, and you were all alone today in that race out front. Well done. Well, thank you. Where's my box? Chill. Oh. I'm going. I have a feeling. This is my box. No, I broke it. I'm going with the butterfly because you've transformed into a halfway decent racer all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Wait, I'm the... gonna this. I'm gonna reserve this side. I might swept need some more space. It. Oh, look at this guy. Swept well the day today. <laughs> fast. Thanks, Bubba. What about Lightning McQueen? <laughs> all right, there we go. There we have it. Can hardly wait for you to wear it. Anyway. My feelings would be for me to wear it. Mike, I can't, uh, can't express I can't gratitude. express my gratitude, but you know what? You can't fight something like this. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Woo! Oh my gosh, I can hardly wait to walk through. Yeah. There's Pit a line. The, the nice line thing is there's some layers to it, Dad. When you look at it, I mean, just more things. <laughs> we got a sloth on there, pizza. You're good. Well, thank Probably you very much. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I tell you what, you young kids cover your ears. I walk through the door in this, I'm a must have. <laughs> <laughs> what a day. Really, what a weekend. At least for some of us. Uh, it was just, honestly, it was phenomenal. Um, probably will never happen again to me, but I just had a blast. Again, thank you to the whole family. Uh, and big thank you to everyone that's come up and said hi to us. It really does mean a lot. And not, last but not least, thank you to those right there, those partners. Just the perfect package. So, um, Casey won twice this weekend, but I was the big winner. Dad was the big winner. Our friend Mike said the next time Casey won a race, he was giving me something special. And as you can tell, this is something special. You Colors will jump out at you. But when you have five minutes to study it, you'll see, I am the big winner. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. He's been, he had had that for like over a year. It had been a long time. But I'll tell you what, I mean, with the changes I've got on that cart, it is, it's money. Feel real good. Ben? Yeah, my weekend sucked, but <laughs> apparently I wasn't able to go through and talk about it because I was quote unquote too depressing and too, <laughs> on, too honest. Uh, it was just a bad weekend for me. Felt terrible Saturday and then Sunday, uh, you know, just got involved in a mess. So, yeah, Casey won twice though, so we're all winners, really. Great weekend. He won't shut up about it. Makes me feel really good about my performance. <laughs> We had a lot of fun. Let's like, share, and subscribe. Uh huh. All right, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe for more Casey wins and more Mike and Dad tank tops <laughs> and more Ben being frustrated all the time. <laughs>